it is unbelievable then uh, that the Sandhya has left us. He was here with us <coughs> almost on a daily basis. Nobody could believe, many people called me that it is really true that he has passed away. But Many people approached me while giving the condolences that you were very good friends of the same merchant. It is true he was a good friend and a elder brother to me. When I moved to Edison in 1986, he was living in the neighborhood. So our children, especially uh, Abbas and Asad, their classmates, so we did uh, uh, carpooling for the regular school. Our children were also attending the Islamic school and the Baptist school at Khastan de Zahra. So every Saturday we would be carpooling with him. He was a courageous man. He lost all his business of clothing, of import and export. And anybody else would have uh, broken but not him. He established another uh, business, Limo Express. And uh, by this business, he has been provided, he did provide a lot of services to Mazhiri and his guest to the mass community. He will never charge them. And um, you know, when we did not have the GPS and we were on a trip somewhere, and Whenever I will get lost, I will call you send by for the direction and you will look up at the map and will give us the direction. Mm. <laughs> Mala Ali says that uh, live in this uh, world that people want to have your company and when you leave, they remember you. Hussain Bhai is called the Pure Uttartethe. जब तक जिंदा रहे लोग उनसे मिलना पसंद करते थे और अब वो चले गए हैं तो उनको याद करते हैं। इतनी जल्दी से वो गुजर गए कि मुझे ये शेर याद आ रहा है कि न हाथ थाम सके न पकड़ सके दाम न हाथ थाम सके न पकड़ सके दाम बहुत करीब से उठकर चला गया बहुत करीब से उठकर चला गया कोई कामयाब मोमिन सक्सेसफुल मोमिन इस वन वो लेस वो लीव्स बिहाइंड सबाबे जारी है फॉर आखरत एंड हुसैन मर्चेंट रियली इस दैट मोमिन वो हैज लेफ्ट सबाबे जारी है लेट मी गिव द एग्जांपल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हिस चिल्ड्रन Amir Marchand was the most dependable volunteer of Masjid Ali for many, many years. And still quietly, he has been supporting solid support financially. Fatima, who lives in Chicago, and her husband, Hassan Dosan, they are the solid volunteers for the battle in Chicago. <coughs> And Asad Merchant is one of the main guys who is supporting the workshops. al workshops, al workshop, which is so important for our community, his children, and he is uh, and his wife are playing significant role. Dar es Besides that, what else he has left? Well, let me tell you, this Masjid Ali, we were looking for three acre land in a residential area in Edison. And after two years, 
you came to conclusion that it will not be possible in a distance, so we have to look around other areas. It was Hussain Merchant, remember that. It was he who pointed out about this uh, property that was on sale for 3.3 acres. So when he told me, I came to see this building, <coughs> and I entered this old house, which is still here. Behind the old house, there's a beautiful lawn, and very nicely maintained several green trees. I love the property. Knocked on the door, and the lady came out and said, I want to talk to you about this property on sale. He said, you know, I'm not supposed to talk to you without appointment or without wife or realtors. So I said, listen, you know, the doctor will be looking for the mask and things like that, you know, and she was also working in St. Peter's. So she was in a medical field, she said, okay, come on. I asked her, is there any offer? Uh, she said, no, there's no offer on this property. So I said, I'll bring my friend. And then I took Dr. Bajafi and Dr. Dizvi. They came, they also liked it. We talked to the lady and we said that, you know, why give money to the wife or we can deal with you directly. She said, that's fine, but we have to wait three months, you know, after the contract is over, we have to wait three months. So we waited for three months and then we made a deal with her, reduced the, uh, uh, the amount that she was asking. And we had a deal that if we get the permission to build the mosque, then we will buy your property, otherwise we will not. She was very confident and we were confident that you know, we will get the permission because the church is across and there were so many uh, uh, centers, uh, places for worship on the roof. And that's exactly what happened. You know, in 2001, after 9 11, we got the permission to build. So it was to send much. Nare Tadbir! Nare Salat! Ya Rasulullah!